Hi, my name is Siri and I go to Irvington High School. For my starter project, I chose to do the useless box. And I chose this project because I have always wondered how flipping a switch would cause an arm to move up from inside the box, flip the switch, and move back inside. This is how it works. As you can see, by flipping the switch, it causes a motor to move up from inside the box by moving counterclockwise. And this causes the arm that's attached to it to move up from the box and flip the switch. In doing so, it makes the uh, motor move clockwise, causing the arm to go back inside the box. To make this project, it started off with soldering all of the parts to the PCB, including the switch and some screw terminals. And I, uh, the motor wires and battery wires were attached to these screw terminals, and then I it was just a matter of assembling the box and putting everything inside. I ran into a couple of challenges when making this box. One, the main one being the arm not working when I flipped the switch. This was caused because I soldered the screw terminals incorrectly, causing a bridge to form between those screw terminals. And since these were attached to the battery, what happened was the energy from the battery would move up to those screw terminals, travel through the bridge that I created, and then go back into the batteries, causing them to overheat. To fix this uh, problem, I, all I had to do was remove the solder between the two, and then it would work perfectly fine. What's going to happen next is I'm going to start my intensive project, which is going to be the Ar Ar Arduino game console. And basically, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's going to be a game console with a few games on it, such as Hangman and Star Chaser.